Good day, my viewers and my listeners. This is Pastor Florence in the kitchen with self-care, which is not an act of selfishness. Uh, maybe if you have not know, maybe noted, every Tuesday I bring you that program, uh, uh, Christian self-care, which is not an act of uh, selfishness uh, via JLI. And uh, I know God will bless you when you log in and you'll be able to be blessed. If you want to look back, you can look on what we talk. We not only talk about spiritual things, but we talk, you know, the real thing. The, yeah. So today... I am in my kitchen and I want to share with you the focus is always on Proverbs chapter 6 from verse 10 and I'm going to read it so that we know that we have it all covered in the word of God. The Bible says, Go to the aunt, you sluggard, consider her ways and be wise, which having no captain of a seer or ruler provides her surprise in the summer and gathers her food in the harvest. How long will you slumber, O oh, sluggard? When will you rise from your sleep? A little slum, a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to, to sleep. So shall your poverty come on you like a prora, and your need like a numbed man. I read up to first. Yeah, I read from first six to eleven, and that was from New King James Fashion. Why should I read that first? Because our lives are very, very, very busy, and if we don't take care, we are going to blame that busy lifestyle, and in actual fact, it's the, the, the reason is. So let me just start with a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, as I'm in the kitchen, dear Lord, I want to pray that my fear and my reason, I will see the need to take care of our bodies, that which are the temple of the Holy Spirit, as your word tells us. I pray that every person under the sound of my voice will be encouraged and inspired, dear Father, and be charged to get out of reason so that we can be able to build our bodies well in Jesus name amen and amen oh and um, I like to share there is no need for you to hide anything that benefits you with me here uh, I was just uh, uh, begging my my what my beans that I had prepared yesterday I boiled them and now I'm actually I actually did this and put them in a tray for you so that I can demonstrate well, okay? These are beans, I don't have visitors, okay? But I want to stock them according to that word that we have read, okay? Allow me, uh, or bear with me, if my, the camera will be kind of cutting short, but because I need to demonstrate something. Those are beans, these are pinto beans. You can buy your choice. I buy, we buy in my family, let me not give myself praise, actually my husband normally, buy this big day. So I buy, we buy this big bag. Says pink of bean. Okay? Nutritional values. I must do it or maybe I could take a picture later on. It has dietary fiber 18%. It has uh, um, potassium 10%. It has iron 10%. It has calcium um, 4%. And I must also say that uh, Beans are also low glycemic food. What are low glycemic food? Are those uh, food that um, low glycemic? They don't have a lot of sugar. Anyway, I'm not a doctor, but <laughs> I have a, a, a little knowledge of those things. Okay. Anyway, now this is the pot, cooking pot I used to boil them. I boiled them yesterday before I went to work, and now I just came from working overnight. And before I go to sleep, because if I let them stay here and it thought they are going to go bad, I could not have bagged them when they were hot. So, a little slumber, I came. And if I talked with somebody over the phone, they would wonder, this lady really, was she pretending? But I come, I've come to realize, as I was doing my dishes here, I, God reminded me there is always enough grace for the assignment that is ahead of you. Sometimes I come and there is nothing I can be able to do. I just go to bed. But today God gave me this grace to bag them so that they don't get bad, okay? So what am I saying? Does it cost you something? Yeah, it cost you some time in some comfort zone. I had to prepare them each bag. Why? I'm not going to make them, you know, right now. Maybe this even for next month, they are going to be there. Because this bag, I can you can make two times depending on what you make with I, I'm not going to be demonstrating what I'll be making because anyway, I need to go and sleep. 
but I wanted to encourage you. Don't just go for fast food and say you do not have time. If you do not have time, that time that you have, the little time you have, God will give you the grace so that you can be able to prepare for healthy food. With beans, you can you can use you can make many dishes dishes as a to me and or rice or chapati or even that way like me when i want I, there are times i make them like for breakfast and i'll mix with broccoli and all that and and um, tomatoes and it takes you know while they were boiling i was doing other things because it's going to take around two hours to boil or something but uh, what i wanted to encourage you is let us take care of our bodies let us not give reason that we don't have the time. Let us not give reason that uh, I am going for fast food because I did not have time. When I stock them in the in the freezer, and uh, I, I can be removing them little by little. Even somebody else can make. With me here also, as I mentioned, I have broccoli in the freezer. I bring them and I put them. They are fresh. I, I divide them. You know, one packet of broccoli can go a wrong way. So, and eating healthy does not have to be expensive. All you have to do is plan well. When you plan well, you be able. I have carrots here. I'm going to show you different dishes that you can make. Well, this one just came. I didn't mean to share. I have carrots. You can fry the beans with carrots. You can also make these are like, um, corn. White corn, I can make it very like the one we used to make back home. And not now, this was just for you for now. So that when to encourage you, there is always room for you uh, and time for you to prepare to eat well. And so God, God, God has given us the knowledge. And there is why did I bring this? Because you can wonder why all this? Because I don't have the time. My lifestyle is busy. I uh, I'm a very busy person, and so that's why I have to prepare all this. And that's why the Bible tells us to look at the ant. They prepare in the summer for the winter. Your winter could be when you are so busy. Your winter could be when you are not home. And the summer is the little time that you have, the window of time that you have. Even if it's, a, it's, an, it's one hour, make use of it so that you invest in your health. There is nothing so bad, like every time you are feeling guilty, I wish I had taken this step. Honestly, this beans, this beans, this one packet, you can use it for three meals, depending on what you're making. So may God bless you and let us take care of our bodies because they are the temple of the Holy Spirit. But you have to count the cost. Gutara garama, gutara garama, gutara garama ya hono kyo, yusone tarire garama hono kyo. I can always sing and say, May the Lord bless you and I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to pray for that viewer and my reason, a Lord over there. They may be feeling that they are so busy, they always have to pass through McDonald's, they always have to pass through Subway. Lord, help us to increase their longevity and even our health so that we can be able to serve you when we are healthy. I glorify your holy name, O God. I do not do this to show up, but to encourage somebody, to mentor somebody, O God, that they may know even in the midst of their busy life that they can still make it well and eat healthy even together with the family in jesus name amen and amen if you like this subscribe to my channel and continue to share and i know god will bless us remember self-care is very very important yes thank you